so good morning students this is arvin uh, dvsid kavali so in the previous session i discussed about some single phase uh, full wave bridge converter operation so it is comes under the voltage source converter and today i am going to discuss uh, some single phase leg operation this is very important to this is very important to discuss uh to the coming topic that is a three phase operation three phase converter operation so let us coming to the concept this is single phase leg operation or single phase pole operation so here in this uh i put a diagram here so please observe this diagram so here i am taking a single phase leg so it contains a capacitor it is split into two and it is connected to the midpoint n it is connected to the midpoint n so it gives plus vd by 2 and minus vd by 2 and uh, in the ac side we have one transformer and it contains uh, ac and uh, terminal uh, midpoint voltage that is van so here i am taking the operation of just one leg uh, circuit so by observing this circuit i am explaining the remaining so here so here i am taking a capacitor it is split into two series connected halves okay so already in this diagram i mentioned so actually uh, we are taking one capacitor only but in this case for the single pole uh, operation so it is split into two halves with midpoint n series connected halves with the neutral point of the ac set so this is the neutral point of the ac set that is n it is indicated with the letter capital n indicated with the capital n of the dc capacitor so here i am taking two turn off devices so with the two turn off devices alternator closing or opening the ac voltage waveform is a square with a peak voltage of vd by 2 so if you observe this diagram waveform uh, present in the figure b so here Uh, i am taking the turn off devices so at the time i am taking only one device one turn off device that is 1 and 4 so whenever i take 1 and 4 devices uh, simultaneously it operates like uh, whenever the turn off device one is on so we have the peak voltage plus vd by 2 and uh, whenever the device 4 uh, is turned on it comes under the negative direction that is a uh, negative peak voltage minus vd by 2 and it, the operation continues so here if you see the di circuit diagram so here i am taking the two valves so two valves one valve containing the thyristor and diode and another valve containing uh, one thyristor and diode so here one and four means uh, the thyristors are turn off devices so and three and four gives the two and three gives Two and four gives the two and three gives the diode operation. So let us come into the point that is so with the two turn off devices alternately closing or opening that means two thyristors. Okay, with the two turn off devices alternately closing or opening the AC voltage waveform is a square wave with peak voltage of VD by two. So if you see this diagram, so this one uh, B diagram. so first a diagram is a one phase leg circuit and uh, second diagram b diagram is a output ac voltage with the neutral point n okay with the neutral point n so and note that when two phase legs are operated in a full wave bridge mode so here i am taking only one phase leg so first suppose uh, we when we take the two phase legs are operated in a full wave bridge mode that means uh, in the previous class i discussed about single phase full wave bridge converter operation so in that one i take uh, two phase legs so similarly here also when we take the two phase legs are operated in a full wave bridge mode the waveform in single phase full wave bridge operation so that is the ac square wave is sum of the two halves of figure b giving a peak voltage of vd so if you observe this diagram waveform so here we are taking uh, Plus V D by two and minus V D by two. So whenever we combine two phase legs, whenever we combine two phase legs, so it will give you a peak voltage of plus V D. 
plus VD. And next, so in a full wave circuit, the neutral connection is no longer needed. So uh, if you uh, noticed in the previous session, that means a single phase full wave bridge connector operation. So there is no need of the neutral connection. Why? Because that is a full wave circuit. That is a single phase full wave circuit. So there is no need to the uh, connection of the neutral point. But here I am taking the single, single, single phase leg operation. So in this case, we have to take the neutral point. But in the previous case, there is no need to the connection. There is no need to connect the neutral point. Okay. So in a full wave circuit, the neutral connection is no longer needed because the current has a return path through the other phase leg. Okay. Why we why we don't need the neutral connection in the full wave circuit means the current has a return path through the other phase leg. But here we are using only one phase leg. That's why we need the neutral connection. Okay. So I explained this uh, phase leg operation by using some points. So those are first one is AC current and voltage can have any phase relationship. So you already know this point. AC current and voltage can have any phase relationship that is the converter phase angle between voltage and current can cover all four quadrants. So you already know this point. So actually the phase relationship between AC current and voltage gives the phase angle. It gives the converter phase angle between voltage and current can cover all four quadrants. And next this acts as a rectifier or an inverter with leading or lagging reactive power. This point is also you know. So that is act as a rectifier or an inverter with leading or lagging reactive power. Suppose, so this assumes that there is a DC and an AC system connected on the two sides of the converter. Okay, so this assumes that there is a DC and an AC system connected on two sides of the converter as in figure B in basic on the VSC. So, um, if you see the first diagram, that is the basic concept of VSC. So we have this one. So uh, in that uh, single phase, uh, sorry, in this uh, basic con in that basic concept, I drawn uh, uh, one valve containing a thyristor and the diode. So for that one, we have one DC side operation and one AC side operation. Uh, that is uh, in the left side we have the DC side operation, and in the right side we have the AC side operation. So if you observe that, uh, you notice that one. So if the converter is used for reactive power only. So if the converter is used for reactive power only, then there is no need for the DC system. So I already said this point in the first class only. So if the converter is used for reactive power only, then there is no need for the DC system. And the converter will terminate at the DC capacitor. Okay, and the converter will terminate at the DC capacitor. And next, the active and reactive power can be independently controlled with the control of magnitude and phase angle of the converter generated AC voltage with respect to the AC current. So this point also I discussed in the previous class only. So whenever we need the active and reactive power uh, independently controlled, so with the control of magnitude and phase angle of the converter generated AC voltage with respect to the AC current. So actually in the basic concept of VSC, we take the DC and AC system connected on the two sides of the converter. Okay. Why? Because to exchange the real power. Why? Because to exchange the real power. Okay. Next. So here we have diode operation and uh, thyristor operation. So here the diode carry out instantaneous rectifier function and turn off carry out instantaneous inverter function. So in the previous session also I discussed at this point. Uh, in the previous class, I show I shown you that uh, one waveform. So it contains in the positive side uh, uh, rectifier function, in the negative side inverter function. So here the diodes carry out instantaneous rectifier function and turn off carry out instantaneous uh, inverter function. So of course each AC cycle is made up of periods of rectifier and inverter action. So each each AC cycle is made up of periods of rectifier and inverter actions in accordance with the phase angle in accordance with the phase angle and the average current determines the net power flow. 
So here the average current determines the net power flow and hence the net rectifier or inverter operation. Next, when any turn off device turn off, that means thyristor. Turn off device nothing but the thyristor. Okay. When any turn off device turns off, the AC bus current is not actually interrupted at all. Okay. The AC bus current is not actually interrupted at all, but is transferred from a turn off device to a diode. So I already said that we are using a turn off device that is nothing but a thyristor, not a diode. Okay. So here, uh, Whenever the turn off device is turned off, the AC bus current is not actually interrupted at all, but is transferred from a turn off device to a diode. Okay, when the power factor is not unity. So, when the power factor is not unity, the AC bus current is transferred from a turn off device to a diode. Okay, and another turn off device when power factor is unity, and to another turn off device. So, here the AC bus current is transferred from the turn off device to diode when the power factor is not unity and the same and similarly the AC bus current is transferred to a turn off device to another turn off device when the power factor is unity. So when the power factor is unity. And next here I am taking the turn off device 1 and 4 I already said that turn off device 1 and 4 or turn off device is 2 and 3 in the same phase leg are not turned on simultaneously okay turn off device if you take the turn off device 1 and 4 and uh, turn off device 2 and 3 at the same time but uh, there is no turn on of the uh, two two at the same time okay here uh, if the 1 and 4 is turned on means uh, 2 and 3 is in the turn off condition so if the 2 and 3 is turned on means 1 and 4 is in the turn off condition okay that means otherwise it would um, if the both uh, devices is turned on it not occurred okay it not occurred but if if this occurred means this would cause a short circuit of the dc side okay so whenever all the turn off devices turn on simultaneously it will cause a short circuit of the dc side and a very fast discharge of the DC capacitor through the shorter phase leg. So this will not occur any time. Okay, this will not occur. Okay, it will, uh, if the device 1 and 4 is on means 2 and 3 is off condition. If 2 and 3 is on means 1 and 4 is an off condition. Okay, not all turn off devices uh, not turn on uh, at a time. Okay, if it is turn on means there is a short circuit of the DC side and a very fast discharge of the DC capacitor. Okay, so uh, if it will occur means uh, which will destroy the devices in that phase leg. In that particular phase leg, uh, there is a destroy. Okay, next, each phase leg is independently capable of operating at any frequency. Okay, each phase leg is independently capable of operating at any frequency or timing with the two valves in a leg alternately switching. So suppose if we have the turn off devices, if we have the turn off devices one and four, okay. So for the phase leg, so in another phase leg we have two and three, okay. So each phase leg is independently capable of operating at any frequency or other timing with or timing with the two valves in a leg alternately switching. And next, so in principle, any number of phase legs can be connected in parallel. Okay, actually, based on the principle that is the VSC concept, any number of phase legs can be connected in parallel and each operated independently. So, this is the main point. So, in principle, any number of phase legs can be connected in parallel, but each operated independently, although being connected to the AC system, although being connected to the AC system. So there is a need to have appropriate sequence and system interface through transformers in order to achieve the desired converter performance. So actually the transformer is connected on the AC side because transformer is a AC, it is based on the AC supply. So that's why there is a need to have appropriate sequence and system interface through transformers 
in order to achieve the desired converter performances okay so one more important point is that it is important to note that turn on and turn off devices establish the voltage wave from the ac bus voltage in relation to the dc voltage okay and do not necessarily conduct current if the direction of current flow results in a corresponding diode to carry the current okay so the turn on and turn off devices establish the voltage wave form of the ac bus voltage in relation to the dc voltage and do not necessarily conduct current if the direction of current flow results in corresponding diode to carry the current okay and next so this is in our single phase pole operation single phase pole operation and next we have another topic that is three phase full wave bridge converter three phase full wave bridge converter so here i am taking here we have different actions so here first i will take the converter operation okay converter operation means it it uh, it is a combination of rectifier and inverter action okay so th this is the three phase full wave bridge converter diagram okay three phase full wave bridge converter diagram so in the previous class i discussed about single phase full wave bridge converter operation here i am taking the three phase full wave bridge converter operation so here this is the diagram so here i am taking the uh, converter valves and in the left side of the diagram we have the dc connection and in uh, and in the right side of the diagram we have the uh, ac operation okay so here i am taking totally six converters six converters so each converter containing um, one turn off device and uh, one diode one turn off device and one diode each converter okay here i am taking three phase legs so in the previous case i am taking only single phase leg so for the three phase uh, full wave bridge converter operation i am taking three phase legs okay three phase legs each containing two valves each containing two valves so each valve containing two devices one is turn off device and another one is diode okay that is under the parallel connection okay so here i am here also the capacitor is split into two split into two capacitors with a midpoint n with a midpoint neutral neutral midpoint n okay if you see the diagram the left side you notice that one the diode is divided into two halves uh, uh, split into two halves and is uh, connected to a midpoint n so here the dc voltage is vd uh, here we have uh, positive peak voltage and negative peak voltage in the positive peak we have the plus vd by 2 in the negative peak we have the minus vd by 2 mm, so totally we have plus vd peak to peak voltage is plus vd positive peak is plus vd by 2 negative peak is minus vd by 2 total voltage is plus vd that is under the dc side okay so coming into the operation so here the figure shows a three phase full wave converter with six valves okay with six valves that is 1 to 1 dash to 6 to 6 dash so if you see this diagram you will. so 1 to 1 dash to 6 to 6 dash total we have six valves so 1 to 1 dash one is the 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 are the thyristors 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash are the diodes okay so here the designated order 1 to 6 represents the sequence of valve operation in time in time okay the designated order 1 to 6 represents the sequence of valve operation in time so here it consists of three phase legs i already said that so it consists of three phase legs which operate in constant 120 degrees apart so each phase leg uh, operate in a 120 degrees so totally three phase legs so 3 into 120 how much 360 degrees okay 360 120 plus 120 plus 120 that is totally 360 degrees so it consists of three phase legs which operate in constant 120 degrees apart totally 360 degrees so here the three phase legs operate in a square wave mode okay the three phase legs operate in a square wave mode 
so in accordance with the square wave mode with reference to the single leg operation waveform that is in the previous uh, uh, topic that is the single phase leg so at that time i show you that uh, i shown you that one square wave form okay so it can it takes the reference so this three phase fluid bridge converter takes the reference from the diagram that's why i discussed that uh, single phase leg operation actually that is not in in the syllabus but uh, uh, to understand the three phase fluid bridge converter operation so you have to know the single phase leg operation that's why i discussed that one okay so here i am taking the reference waveform of the single phase leg operation to the three phase leg okay so what will occur is so each valve alternately closes for 180 degrees so each valve alternately closes for 180 degrees uh, it is shown by the waveforms va vb and vc so i will show the waveform so this one so this is a waveform so in the in this one we have first diagram first first is a phase to dc midpoint voltage first square wave is a phase to dc midpoint voltage that is this one and next we have two diagrams so these three are the va vb vc va vb vc waveforms va vb vc three are the uh, square waveforms only so it takes the reference from the single phase leg operation waveform okay so here each valve alternately closes for 180 degrees so total we have three valves so that means va vb and vc we have okay these three square wave waveforms are the voltages of ac buses a a b and c that's why i represented with the va vb and vc okay with respect to a hypothetical dc capacitor midpoint n okay with respect to the hypothetical dc capacitor midpoint n so with peak voltages of plus v d by 2 minus v d by 2 if you observe the diagram you notice so it consists of a peak voltage of the plus v d by 2 and minus v d by 2 so in the first valve you have 1 and 4 and in the second valve we have 3 and 6 and in the third valve we have 2 and 5 totally six valves okay next the three phase legs have their timing 120 degrees i already said that three phase legs operate in a 120 degrees so with respect to each other in what amounts to a six pulse converter operation okay so the three phase legs have the timing 120 degrees apart with respect to each other in what amounts to a six pulse converter operation so all are combined to amounts to a six pulse converter operation okay so here i am taking phase leg that is 3 to 6 which is 120 degrees after phase leg 1 to 4 so here i am taking 3 to 6 and 1 to 4 so one complete and uh, coming to the next one that is here phase leg 3 to 6 switches 120 degrees after phase leg 1 to 4 so firstly 1 to 4 is operating and after completion of the 1 to 4 leg phase leg operation it comes to the 3 to 6 it switches into the 3 to 6 and phase leg 5 to 2 switches 120 degrees after 3 to 6 so firstly 1 to 4 and next 3 to 6 and next 5 to 2 so like this the phase leg operation continues okay so this is the waveform we have so here we have phase to phase voltages in the previous we have va vb vc that is the ac bus voltages uh, with respect to the dc midpoint n okay va vb vc and next we have phase to phase voltage waveforms that is vab phase to phase vab vbc vca so this is ab bc cd ca okay if you want to draw if you want to see the vab that means difference between va minus vb difference between va minus vb and vbc is the difference between vb minus vc and uh, vca is the difference between va minus vc or vc minus va so with reference to the first three diagrams vab wave forms i am taking these three phase to phase voltages vab vbc and vca okay so if we observe the waveform we have this one so 1 5 1 3 3 4 4 6 7 6 so vab vbc and vca 
and coming to this thus completing the cycle as shown by the valve close open sequence so figure b also shows the three phase to phase voltages i already said that uh, vab vbc and vca so where vab is equal to va minus vb vbc is equal to vb minus vc vca is equal to vc minus va okay so it is interesting to note that these phase to phase voltages have 120 degrees pulse width okay 120 degrees pulse width with the peak voltage magnitude of vd okay and next the periods of 60 degrees the periods of 60 degrees when the phase to phase voltage are zero so actually we have 120 degrees operation but the periods of 60 degrees occurred when the phase to phase voltage are zero okay phase to phase voltage are zero at that time we have the 60 degrees operation represent the condition when two valves on the same side of the dc bus are closed on the dc bus okay so represent the condition when the two valves on the same side of the dc bus are connected on their dc bus okay and next we have so for example the wave from vab shows voltage vd uh, when turn off device 1 connects connects ac bus a to the dc bus plus vd by 2 okay firstly i will take the vab wave form so here the vab shows voltage vd okay when turn off device 1 connects ac bus a to dc bus plus vd by 2 if you observe this diagram you will understand the wave form vab so this is the difference between va minus vv so this one we have 1 and 5 4 and 6 1 and 3 3 and 4 and 2 and 4 face to face okay and next vbc we have 5 and 6 3 and 2 and 2 and 2 and 6 and 3 and 5 and vca we have 1 and 5 1 and 2 2 and 4 6 and 4 1 and 2 5 and 4 so these are the face to face voltage waveforms face to face voltage waveforms and turn off device 6 connects so in the previous case one connects ac bus a to the dc bus and turn off device 6 connects ac bus b to the dc bus that is minus vd by 2 so we have peak to peak voltage past peak voltage is plus vd by 2 negative peak voltage is minus vd by 2 but here Uh, the turn off device one connects AC bus A to the DC bus that is plus VD by two, and turn off device six connects AC bus B to the DC bus DC plus minus VD by two, giving total voltage that is VAB that is equal to VA minus VB that is equal to plus VD by two minus half minus VD by two. Okay, VA voltage is plus VD by two minus VB voltage is minus VD by two that is minus half minus VD by two that is VD by two plus VD by two that is equal to total voltage is vd okay so here i am taking 1 and 6 and it is seen that 120 degrees later when turn off device 6 is turned off and turn off device 3 is turned on so i already said that at the same time uh, both turn off devices is not turned on so here 120 120 degrees later turn off device 6 is turned off okay 6 is turned off and uh, at the same time turn off device 3 is turned on okay both ac buses a and b become connected to the same dc bus plus vd by 2 at the time both ac buses a and b becomes connected to the same dc bus plus vd by 2 giving zero voltage between buses a and b between buses a and b okay and another 60 degrees later that means uh, as turn off device 1 turns off then turn off device 4 connects b connects bus a to the minus vd by 2 and vab becomes minus vd okay and another 120 degrees later turn off device 3 turns off and turn off device 6 connects bus b to minus vd by 2 giving vab is equal to 0 giving vab is equal to 0 okay so here uh, turn off device 4 connects bus a to minus vd by 2 at that time vab becomes minus vd and 100 degrees later turn off device 3 turns off and uh, turn off device 6 connects bus b to minus vd by giving vab is equal to 0 the cycle completed when uh, after 
another 60 degrees, another 60 degrees. Turn off device 4 turns off and turn off device 1 is turned on. The other two voltages VBC and VAC, VCA have the same sequence like VB, VAB. Same sequence operation continues uh, apply applicable to this VBC and VCA. Okay. And next, so as mentioned earlier, the turn on and turn off, the turn on and turn off of the devices establish the waveforms of the AC bus voltages, establish the waveforms of the AC bus voltages in relation to the DC voltage. I already said in the starting, okay, the turn on and turn off of the devices establish the waveforms of the AC bus voltages in relation to the DC voltage. The current flow itself is the result of the interaction of the AC voltage with the AC system, okay. And also I mentioned earlier, each converter phase like can handle resultant current flow in either direction. Okay, as I mentioned earlier that each converter phase leg can handle resultant current flow in either direction. So, the figure B shows an assumed AC current IA in phase A with positive current representing current from the AC to DC side. Okay, I will show that diagram IA, AC current diagram. So, this one phase current sine wave. So it shows like a shine wave, sine wave. This is the phase current IA. Similarly, IB and IC we have. Okay, IC and IB and IC we have. I will explain about IA and uh, same operation will applicable is applicable to IB and IC also. Okay, so I will explain IA operation. So here figure B shows an assumed AC current IA in phase A with positive current representing current from the AC to DC side. So for simplicity the current is assumed to have fundamental frequency only. Okay, for simplicity the current is assumed to have fundamental frequency that means so from point T1 to T2 from point T1 that is the uh, instant of time T1 to T2 for example phase A current is negative. For example, phase A current is negative and has to flow through either valve 1 to 1 dash or 4 to 4 dash. Okay. So, from that one it is seen that when comparing the phase A voltage with the waveform of the phase A current, okay, when turn off device 4 is on and turn off device 1 is off and current is negative. Okay. It is seen when comparing the phase A voltage with the waveform of the phase A current that when turn off device 4 is on and turn off device 1 is off and current is negative. Here the current would actually flow through diode 4 dash only, diode 4 dash only but later say from point T2 to T3 when device 4 is turned off okay, and device 1 is turned on. So in the previous case that is T1 to T2 at the time 4 is on and 1 is off but here from instant T2 to T3 4 is off and 1 is on. Okay, the negative current flows through the device 1. Here the negative current flows through device 1. The current have transferred from diode 4 dash to device 1. Okay, the current transferred from diode 4 dash. So, in the previous case, um, the current flowing in the, uh, the negative current flow in the 4 dash. So, here the current having transferred from diode 4 dash to device 1. So, 4 dash is a diode, 1 is a thyristor. Okay. Next. So, this is the explanation for the three phase full wave bridge converter. And uh, in the next class, I will discuss uh, here we have another waveform that is uh, included with the harmonics. Okay. I will explain uh, that waveforms by using the harmonic concept. Okay. For the three phase full wave bridge converter, I will explain that one. Uh, in the next class. Okay.